basically we was in the Clio coverage. You know, um, they were in a high low route. You know, basically he just threw it to the flat and I broke on the ball. You kind of bait him in that? You kind of see that coming? I mean, we was talking about it on the sideline that he liked to lock on and just stare down the receiver. And I told my coach what they was uh, attacking us in. And then he just told me one time, just sit on it, just take it. Yeah. And you know as soon as you caught it, you were going to score? Oh, yeah. yeah. How big was that to come into halftime, you know, off of that play? I think it was big. Um, I think it gave us some momentum. And um, it kept everybody playing hard. Did you feel like talk? see all that green grass between you and the end zone as soon as you caught it? It felt great, to be honest. It felt great. Um, I was fortunate to make a play on it. Um, it's got to continue. Jack, I've been talking about the stop on the goal line. Did you get those first down and stuff? What you saw on the play as you went forward? Oh, I saw everybody block down. Uh-huh. And um, the running back tried to bounce. And it's like every day in practice when we do goal line, I always tell my big guy, you know, I be joking around to force it to me. And it just so happened that they forced it to me this game. I just came up with a stop. What about the strip? Uh, the strip? I think it was just a great play by me. Um, no one was coming, and he had the ball in front of him, you know, no ball security. So I just went at the ball instead of trying to make the tackle. I mean, you've been around a decent amount now. I mean, what was the sense? I mean, from the outside, did you get a sense of how few people thought you were going to Oh, man, I mean, it's cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make them pay one time, so it don't matter. I embraced it. Uh, me and DT had a nice battle, and um, just continue to get better. What the, when, when you have a game like this, you almost think, where was, where has this been, you know, for the whole team? Where has this been the first five, six weeks? I mean, you know, we've been through some ups and downs. Uh, first quarter is out the way. We're on the second quarter. You know, everybody just coming in, working hard. And, and, and man, we just believe in Coach Matt. Um, each and every day he pushed us to work hard. You know, we just came out of fault tonight. Did you sense how, a lot, you know, there's a lot around Mac to do right this week, you know, a lot of pressure on him and everything like that. What do you mean by you believe in Coach Mac? I mean, you got to understand, uh, he don't play the game, you know what I'm saying? We play the game as players, he's coach. Unfortunately, we started uh, 0-5, and it's just like, you know, we got to pick up the slack to where we got to play better. We can't point fingers at offense, defense, or the head coach. It's just everybody as a collective unit. I mean, it's, it's just a true testament of what, what this team is about, and um, it's just the beginning. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep this mentality, and we just keep going. Would you say that? I mean, friends you talk to or text with, yeah, like, we're like yeah. saying what? Just they didn't believe we were gonna win. Um, I mean, they, of course they support me and have my back, right. but they did. They were just they're football fans, and they thought that, that we had no shot. What you think of the, of the game plan? I mean, you guys. Without all of your wide receivers, starting wide receivers, then you really didn't use many wide receivers in the game plan. Um, I mean, everything's going so fast out there. Uh, we just, we just, whoever's in, whoever's in, whoever's up there and gets the opportunity to make plays. That's what, that's what happened. We just all came together and got it done. Um, the game plan, the coaches called a great game, uh, and we executed. Did you sense anything different with um, uh, Sullivan calling the plays? Uh, I had no idea. No idea. Um, uh, no clue, um, but I mean, it worked. Uh, and hopefully, we keep it keep it going forward. What does it feel like to finally run the ball? He's not dead. He's just team that up 50 yards away. I mean, seeing those runs break is is a really good feeling for tight ends getting physical, getting the block. It's a great feeling. So it was definitely exciting for us, and it did a lot for us, um, especially on that last drive, that big last run. Um, it's, it's huge. It's huge for our game. It's huge for our offense. So definitely got to keep that going. Was there any sense amongst the guys in the locker room that he's a lot of I mean, Ben took a lot of heat this week to kind of want to rally around him? <clears throat> I mean, I mean, we're in the big, we were in the big hole. We still are, um, but when we rallied together, we came together, and we prepared all week together. Um, that's one thing about the team, and no matter what the circumstances, we're gonna come up and show up to work, and uh, that translated uh, tonight. And uh, definitely, we rallied together. We all we got, so uh, we came up here and played this game for each other. <laughs> Touchdown. Yeah, yeah, that's your design to get get a little uh, get a little contact and uh, just get in the flat, and catch the ball, get in the zone. So you guys believed that you could win the game. Definitely. Other people did. definitely. I mean, as a, I mean, as a competitor, in this, yeah. especially in this league, you know, going into a game thinking otherwise. So definitely, we believed that uh, we were going to win this game, um, and we played like it. <coughs> Did you use that stuff as motivation, or, or did you kind of 
I put that behind me. I tuned it out. It didn't really matter. What kind of team you were. If you don't put us the underdogs, you're gonna put us the underdogs at the same time. We're gonna come out and play ball. Did you guys truly believe you could dominate a game? Like, not win the game, but dominate a game the way yeah, you guys Yeah, we always did. think we could dominate. We know what kind of defense we have. We know what kind of offense we have. Even though we have the offense that we, we thought we was going to have, but uh, the boys came out and did their thing, and then we had special teams. So it was, we, we, we played all three phases, and it, it worked to our advantage. Did this feel like what it felt like a lot last year? Yes, I mean, this win, yeah. I mean, dominating, on, especially on defense, dominating how we did. Um, we was mad that we gave up a touchdown. It should have been 23-3. But at the same time, you know, them boys get paid on the side. So definitely, it felt awesome to be on top this time. How big was Jack Rabbits, you know, right before halftime to get some points? It was big. I was mad at him because I was like, if I was healthy with L healthy, I would have took mine back too, you feel me? But uh, nah, I'm, I'm glad for him because, I mean, we, 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 we harp on it to be me and him going back and forth about who's going to be the best defensive player on our team. And that's what we're trying to do. What, what, what do you sense from your coach this week? I mean, it was such a turbulent week for him. Mm -hmm. Suspension, losing, everything. What was your sense um, how he came through it and how this whole team came through it? He just stayed affirmative. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't let, let it knock him. He just know what kind of team we have, what kind of, and he, he just harped on the defense and making it, making it, making it a defensive game. And that's what we tried to do. And that's what we came out and did. You could tell that. I mean, on offense, they were not going to make mistakes. They were going to run the ball. You know, they were putting Correct. it in your laps a lot. Correct. Yeah, we just told them about marching downfield. I get three points every take. We're going to see, we're going to keep them boys out of the end zone. That's how much you, that's how. We try to keep it. Did McAdoo's decision to give up play calling on offense impact the way he coached your side of the ball at all or manage the game in your eyes as a player? Uh, I didn't even know he gave up play calling. That was the first time y'all first asked me. I was like, he did? I didn't know. But, uh, I mean, it impacted the team just in general. Just, uh, just saying that he knew what he had to do. He just had to be more affirmative on both sides, not just being on one side of the field. How can you play di differently when you have a lead on defense as opposed to when you're trying to? You play more aggressive. You play more. You play more ball hungry. You play try to try to get the ball. You don't play. I mean, we don't on defense. We don't play conservative and just trying to milk the clock. We trying to go get it after that. Could, could you tell that Simeon was a little off? You know, I mean, you know, you guys made him off. You could mm -hmm. tell it was a little. You know, it's going to be a rough night for him. Uh, after the the first. Three series, we was like, yeah, we, we kind of got him shook because he, he not, he's not expecting what we we're doing. I mean, he watched a lot of film, but uh, he was just holding it too long. He wasn't letting it go, so, yeah.